Excel, the lingua franca of business, used by business users every day to run business processes such as this replenishment plan. The question is though, how do you collaborate when you're running an Excel-based process? How do you make it so that you can collect information from different sales reps like Tom Jones and Will Smith? Well, we certainly know that emailing doesn't work. There's no change management. You have to copy and paste information into different spreadsheets and send them around. Versioning becomes a nightmare and there's no central version of the data that can be easily managed with access control so that you have data consistency. Businesses also find that pushing the information into a relational database and working with a data connection back to a database doesn't work because there's no persistence, there's no change control, you end up having to do check-in and check-out or locking in order to work with the data, and there's no positional integrity. So if you want to add something and change the data model, you have to go back and change it in the database. Well, BCP changes all this. BCP has positional sharing technology that lets you take a range of data and say, I want to be able to share this with multiple users through our patented backend database. So what users do is they say, take this range of information and create a version of it in the backend system that's shared and tagged with user and time. So the first version is created by saying, create this information and then make it so information is shared at a cell level on a net change basis. So if I go in and I go change a cell value and I change a formula and push that out to a server, it creates another version, but only with those net changes. And what that means is every other user can then refresh and submit their spreadsheet and they see the changes come in at a cell level inside of Excel. Let's see what that looks like inside of an Excel environment. Here's that same replenishment plan now inside of a boardwalk template which people download using a plugin that gets installed inside of Excel and we're a Microsoft certified partner. And what people do then is they're able to actually use the Excel environment to share data at a cell level. BCP includes the capability to say, I only want Tom Jones and Will Smith to see their data. So through a unique administrative capability, we can say, apply a filter against this so that the different users, in this case, Tom and the manager, are only seeing specific rows. So only show Tom rows where his name shows up in the rep column. So what that means is if I go back and say, well, let's see what Tom looks at, then Tom only sees his rows of data. You'll see here that only Tom's rows are in the file. No other data is there. So now Tom can work and make changes to it. So let's say, for example, he wants to come in and change this value to be 60 in order to clear up this safety stock violation. And maybe Tom wants to add another promotion for this store for this particular product. So he simply comes in and says, well, let's take this information and I'm going to go ahead and copy all of this down and I'm going to say let's put this here and then we'll go ahead and change the date and say I want it to run during this time and maybe I want to make this be 150 and I can leave all the rest the same. This is what users like to do inside of Excel, copy and paste, work with the data, mature it in order to make sure the plan captures what they want and then they can come in and say you know what I'm going to submit my change. When I submit my change it looks at the database and it's looking at the information in the Excel file on the desktop and comparing it with what's being centrally managed and it's telling me there's no changes that aren't reflected in the local spreadsheet. So as Tom, now I can say, well, I'm going to push my updates out to the server and this information is now pushed to the database so that as the manager, when I come back over and say, well, I want to understand what's been changed by my reps. I can click on this and say, well, let's log in as the manager now at Salty Snacks. And when the manager at Salty Snacks refreshes and brings in the change, then the data values that we updated are brought in. Here's the new row, and here's the data value that was changed where it shows the data value went from 20 to 60. Well, with BCP, you can go back in time and say, I want to be able to see who's changed this cell over the past week. And with a couple clicks of the mouse, I'm able to see very quickly who's changed this information over time. And BCP provides the capability for seeing changes at a row, at a column, and at the entire range of data. And more importantly, as this information is automatically consolidated, all the things that you're used to having inside of Excel in terms of being able to drive different pivot reports and understand how the information changed over time, all of these update automatically. And finally, you don't lose the flexibility that you're used to inside of Excel. 
So if I want to be able to change this process and for example, let's say insert a new column because I want to be able to collect comments from people in the field, I can add a column over here and say new and then say update the database with this new structural change. And I'll say this is a new column and I want to be able to push this out and without having to do any programming in the back end, all the users then when they refresh their spreadsheets like Tom comes in and refreshes their spreadsheet, we'll see this change come in at a cell level, much like the changes to the cells and the rows, but now also we have the ability to modify the structure both for rows and columns and share this information between multiple users. No more email, no more rigid connection to databases, instead sharing data at a cell level using BCP.